I want this out as much as the next guy, but I genuinely don't think we're going to get the $20,000 truck we're all hoping for. What's going on guys? My name is Brandon. My name is Tommy. And you're watching Where It's Neutral. Let's get into it. The Toyota Stout was introduced in 1954 as Toyota's very first mid-sized pickup. It had a starting point of a whopping $2,000 and was one of Toyota's very first vehicles to be widely exported. This led to a key role for them to build a global reputation for reliability and also durability. Hint, it worked. In a lot of regions, this sexy hunk of metal became a vital tool for transportation and a near necessity for businesses and individuals alike. Its ability to handle rough terrains and heavy loads really helped it to stand out from its competition. Unfortunately, our beloved stat was discontinued in 1979 to make room for its predecessor, the Hilux. Even though they dropped our beautiful style, there's no doubt that it changed the course of history for Toyota forever. With this in mind, it's really easy to see why everybody is so excited to get their hands on a new one. That's if you can, of course. You see, the excitement around the new Toyota Stout is driven around a few key factors. Recently, there's been a high demand for some cheap-ass mini-trucks because the versatility and capability is much better than that of a larger truck, but you still get the fuel efficiency and the maneuverability of a smaller truck. Toyota has a strong reputation for building durable, reliable, and high-quality vehicles. The expectation that the Stout will carry these traits is a draw for potential consumers. Even the nostalgia factor is appealing to many potential buyers who still remember the durability and reliability of the original Stouts. And not to knock on the Maverick or Santa Cruz, but a reliable truck in this class would be a huge relief. As fuel prices continue to be a concern for many consumers, the hopes that the Stout will offer a better fuel efficiency or fuel economy is a huge selling point. Especially if you consider the use of Toyota's industry-leading hybrid technology, a 30 mile per gallon truck is not out of the question. Quit edging us, Toyota. This has created a lot of excitement for car enthusiasts and potential buyers. We just want it. We want it. So what's the problem then? A 30 mile per gallon truck for $20,000? Sounds like a win to me. Heck yeah. The problem lies not in the making of the truck, but the importing of the truck. See, I have no doubt that Toyota can make a beautiful, affordable, mid-sized truck that could please anybody with a decent set of eyeballs. So the fear is that we won't get it. Toyota is known for making beautiful, amazing cars and then not releasing them into the States. Stop it, Toyota. <laughs> Give us the stuff. Now you might be saying, of course they'll release them in the States. That's the whole point, right? But wrong. See, Toyota is a very smart company. They strive for excellence. They always are innovating new technologies to make the vehicles better. But just like any other company, they don't like losses. In 2020, Ford sold 101,000 Rangers in the US alone, followed by 95,000 units in 2021. Not bad, right? By late 2021, the Maverick was finally getting shipped for sale, with most consumers getting theirs around January, February-ish of 2022. With almost no other competition in the market, Ford wouldn't really have any other issues or anything to worry about, right? I was wrong again! In 2022, Ford only sold 57,000 Rangers in the US, followed by 2023, only 32,000. What happened? Well, shut your mask and tool up, and I'll tell you. Ford ended up selling 74,000 Mavericks in 2022, along with 94,000 Mavericks in 2023. In the US alone, they not only stole all their own customers, but they sold them into a cheaper truck. Luckily, with the Ranger averaging about 100,000 units per year in the US alone, before the Maverick, having both the Ranger and the Maverick allows them to sell about 130,000 units in the US alone. But that's a 30% increase in their total truck market should be a good thing, right? My question is, is that enough to offset the extreme price difference between the two trucks? You gotta consider the manufacturer and engineering costs just to make the Maverick alone. But what I do know is Toyota is a very risk averse company. They don't take chances and they certainly don't make decisions quickly. But we do have other theories. The option we do see coming is a stout that follows more of a RAV4's price scheme. A truck that ranges more from 33000 to 45000 Although we don't have any confirmed specs, we do know that Toyota hasn't built any frames small enough or cheap enough for a compact truck. This means that the stout would likely share a platform with something like the Highlander or the RAV4. Just modified a little. Something like this. I really hope not, but it could happen, guys. <laughs> and since right now everything is still technically speculation, Toyota, please name it the Stout. I will never forget the day my best friend told me that the Maverick was back, and I looked it up only to find a tiny little truck and not a beautiful 70s-inspired coupe. I'm looking at you too, Mitsubishi. That was messed up as well. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please leave a comment down below and kind of tell us what your feelings in the Stout are, what you think is going to happen. I'm extremely curious. If you want to see why Honda never put a V8 in anything, Click somewhere around here for that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Unfortunately, fuck.
<laughs> it was great. It was, it was it so was good. It, it was, was so good. good. It was, you like that? You like that? You like that? Yeah. yeah. Recently, there's been a... Recently, there's been a rising demand for cheap-ass mini trucks. As fuel prices continue to be a concern for pot potential... Oh, my God. As fuel prices continue to be a concern for potential consumers... Potential? Quit edging us, Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please leave a minute. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please take a break. Fuck you. Three, two, one. No, what? what? <laughs>